Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'll be sharing a card as part of the Newton's Nook February release blog hop and it's featuring the new stamp set called Bunny Hop and it's a stamp set that can be used for Easter but also just has some really cute images of bunnies that you could use for other projects and today I'm going to create a project that certainly could be used for Easter but could be used for a different occasion as well and I'll be using a rainbow palette of distress as you see up there. The distress inks that I'm using today are fired brick, ripe persimmon, spiced marmalade, mustard seed, evergreen bough, salty ocean, seedless preserves, and dusty concord and I'll be stamping them in that order. You don't see the dusty concord there but I do add it um, a little bit off camera and so I'm going to start by stamping the bunny in each of these colors and I'll be doing a distress bleed technique. You see there that I have a cloth off to the side which I sprayed with just some plain water because I want to be able to clean off my stamp in between stamping so that I don't get the color blending together on the stamp itself. So if I had stamped it right onto the paper and then put it on the next ink color pad I might get um, the colors mixing into each other and that's not what I'm looking for or I could get the ink onto my ink pad. So I'm just going to you know, just tap it off lightly in between stampings as you see there. I'm moving in a rainbow order, although I'm trying not to just do one of each color. As you see, I'm going for the fired brick, which is a very true red, to write persimmon, which is an orangey red, and then to orange, because I found that I needed enough bunnies to stretch across my card so I would need more than the six rainbow colors, but also because I think that it just gives a... Um, a nicer look to not be so harsh in the colors from one to the other and to create more of kind of a fade into each color and so again I'm doing that like with changing from the um, mowed lawn into the evergreen bow into the salty ocean and when I'm stamping the bunnies here I am alternating them up and down for a little bit of added interest I think that it would be really difficult to stamp them all perfectly in a row anyway, so I'd rather be intentional in the variations in them. And I did find that I had a little bit of extra room on the end, so I do off-camera pull out Dusty Concord and add that. I'm stamping this onto watercolor paper that is cut with the Lawn Fawn Stitched Rectangle Die. Once I have all the Distress inks bunnies stamped, I'm just going to spray it with water, not too much, but just a little bit all over so that the ink starts to bleed out. Distress ink reacts with water and so this creates a distress bleed technique which can be used to create um, many different effects. You can use it with um, more solid stamps. This is a very thin stamp and a versus an outline stamp. Um, and in this case it's just going to make the lines just a little bit fuzzy, kind of give you that watercolor look without having to do anything too technique-y and something that you could create multiple times very quickly. As you see there, it took me only a couple of minutes to do all of the stamping. I'm going to dry that with a heat gun. I don't want to get the water too spread out, so if there was a little, if there was an area where there's too much water, I just tapped it off with a paper napkin. And now for just a little more interest, I'm going to spray some Perfect Pearls over this to get an overall shimmer to the card. Now you could probably just apply the Perfect Pearls to the card and still get that bleeding look, but I wanted to make sure that the bleed was right without wasting too much of my Perfect Pearls. So now the card has a slight shimmer. It's a little bit difficult to see on the video camera, but you'll be able to see it um, more in the pictures as well. And so it just gives you a little bit of shimmer then I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the Newton's Nook set. I'll back it on some black cardstock and then onto a white card base. And that will be it for my card today. I just want to do something a little bit different, something more than just stamping and coloring the image, because I think that's always the obvious but awesome thing to do about Newton's Nook stamps, but this is just something different. This is part of the new release blog op, as I said, and I'll leave a link to that below where you can enter comments and try to win the brand new stamp sets and I'll also leave links to the products in my video description below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more crafty videos you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.